Welcome back to our Fun Artifact Friday series. I'm Dania. And I'm Shaylin. And today is World Smile Day. So today we're showcasing a super cool vintage dentist tool that we have in our collection. Let's check it out. Dentistry is one of the oldest medical professions, almost as old as the history of humans. What? There is forensic evidence that shows that some type of dentistry was practiced many, many years ago. The first known document related to dentistry is from around 5000 BC. A text described tooth worms as the cause of tooth decay. The theory was that a worm infected the tooth and ate holes through it. This theory wasn't proven false until the 1700s. The Mayans were masters at primitive cosmetic dentistry. They used gems and stones to decorate their teeth. First they would chip holes in the teeth and then stick the gems in with plant sap. For a while there actually wasn't even such a thing as a dentist. Most dental procedures were done, believe it or not, by a barber. The reason for this is that they have the sharp tools necessary to get the job done. So the next time you find yourself complaining about having a dentist appointment, just be thankful that you aren't going to see the barber dentist. The first book specifically written about dentistry came out in the 1530s. After this, dentistry started to become more recognized as a medical specialty. French doctor Pierre Fauchard is considered to be the father of modern dentistry. In 1723, he published a book which described how to take care of teeth, introduced fillings, and explained how to treat tooth ailments. Once dentistry was recognized as a medical profession, schools began to open up. John M. Harris started the world's first dental school in 1828. In 1840, the first ever dental college opened in Baltimore. The next year, the first ever dental practice was opened. The first university associated dental school was opened in 1867 at Harvard. Now, there are over eight university associated dental schools in Canada. And according to a survey done in 2013, there are over 20,000 dentists in Canada. Here we have a pair of dental scissors that were used by Dr. Joseph Tyke, who was the first dentist in Kirkland Lake. The scissors are silver and the cutting edge is grooved. Near the top of each handle are grooves which allow the scissors to be locked together. Scissors like this would have been used to cut stitches. Dr. Joseph Tyke came to Kirkland Lake in 1919 and he stayed until 1940. <laughs> and that concludes our Fun Artifact Friday video. Now you're one fact smarter. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.